Now to a story you'll find only on six. A son grieving his father after he lost his life in a plane crash Wednesday. Today he spoke exclusively to NBC Six's Sofia Hernandez. Sofia, what did he have to say? Well, Jackie, as you can imagine, it's been a difficult time for this young man and his family. The son currently lives in Italy. That's where this family is originally from. And his father, Giorgio Dominic, has been in the States for over 20 years or so, working at different universities. And his son, who goes by the same name, says that his father's real passion was flying. If the, fun, the funny thing was that he lived basically almost his entire life on the plane. I remember, like. A lot of time he would say, if anyone asks me where I live, I'm just going to say I live basically on, on the plane now. Uh, Giorgio says it's bittersweet that his father passed away the way he did, but that it's given himself and his family peace of mind knowing that he died doing what he loved most. And Sophia, I know that investigators still have a lot that they still need to uncover in the coming days. So what's next in the investigation and what have they learned so far? Yeah, Joanne, we know that this crash happened around 2 p.m. on Wednesday, and we know that it happened in a pond at the North Palm Beach County Airport, and we know that two people lost their lives that day. One of them was the flight instructor. The other one was Giorgio's father, who was a private pilot, and he was actually taking his last flight lesson before rating exam that he had to take. Now, the National Transportation Safety Board, that they say that this plane was a Piper PA-28-161, and that they were conducting a long cross-country flight lesson. They took off from Pompano Beach, traveled to Sarasota, then to Melbourne, and were heading back to West Palm Beach. And that's where officials say they were performing touch and go landing before the plane crashed and landed in a pond. Now, right now, we do not know the cause of the crash. Over the next few days, NTSB will be investigating air traffic control communications, aircraft maintenance records, flight track data, the history of those on board, their licenses and training, weather forecasts, and of course, any other additional videos that they may have of this crash. Um, and of of course, Giorgio and his loved ones, they say that right now they are just waiting for those answers. NTSB says that the preliminary report should be 30 days from when that crash happened. Reporting live, Sophia Hernandez, NBC6 News.